This is the new office for REA Group, the company behind realestate.com.au, realcommercial.com.au, and Mortgage Choice. And we need to take it from this to this. This looks like a job for tactic spaces. Welcome to Tactic Spaces. We design and build the best office spaces in the market. And today, we're here in Queensland, in Brisbane, designing a brand new office space for the REA Group. After years of working from home, it's time to get employees back into the office and to re-engage with their workplace. And to do that, we need to give them an absolutely fantastic space that reminds them of home. One of the things we're looking for is what we like to say a game-changing experience. Not a traditional broker office. We'd like to have activity-based working, you know, not dedicated seating. We also want a kitchen area that's more than a, just a tea, tea point. Brokers do throw some good events and previous offices we all, all, always have them sort of externally. I think there's a real good opportunity with this space to make the events actually in the office. So that's what I'm kind of really looking for. You know, we do have some sort of templates that our offices have gone with, but I'm encouraging so uh, tactic to also look at sort of bringing their own design because this is a, the first broke office, so trailblaze office. We've handled REA Group's prison office requirements for many years and now we get the privilege of designing and building their new office for their mortgage choice arm of the business. Safe to say I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes together. We've got a big job ahead of us, but I think the Tactic Spaces team are up for the challenge. Hey, I'm Dan. I'm the project manager for Tactic Spaces. Hi, I'm James Levitt. I'm the site supervisor. I make sure the jobs go smooth. Hi, I'm Mel Picos. Yes, another one. I'm the construction manager here at Tactic Spaces. Hi, I'm Ali, head of design. Before we send in the construction crew, we need a design. And that's where Ali and her top-notch design team come in. In terms of the design requirements, the client was moving from level one up to level two within the same building. Level two was originally two vacant spaces. One had an existing fit out and the other was a warm shell and both were in great condition. Our goal was to merge these two spaces into one tenancy while using much of the existing fit out as possible. For example, the large meeting rooms and kitchen will stay because they suited the client's brief. The first challenge was to create a secure entrance with signing capabilities. The main shop front was to remain with a small jut out added to gain some extra space. A waiting area was added with a reception pod and bar fridge to provide refreshments to the front of house rooms. Meeting rooms 1, 3, 4 and 5 will have direct access from the waiting area. A casual meeting area with built-in banquet seating makes use of the hallway nook and is an extra space for hot desking and informal meetings. Just down the hall and through a secure door is the boardroom and meeting room too. The existing kitchen was to remain but was opened up to become a larger breakout space. The TV, sofa and rug provide the homely feel to relax or carry out company presentations and the ping pong table brings a fun side to the space and company Friday competitions. A great aspect to this breakout area are the sliding stacker doors which provide flexibility to open up the hot desking area into one large space. A small foam pod and utility print area Area services this end of the workspace. Travelling to the other end of the floor plate, through a second secure door are 20 workstations in an open style work area. A feature screen wall not only adds some greenery to the space but also provides privacy from the main circulation. A tea point and extra storage has been added and hidden around the corner are two conversation rooms for quiet work or Zoom calls. Branding colours have been injected into each of the meeting and quiet room doors along with the acoustic panelling and lighting. Homely touches bring a residential feel to the space via brickwork feature walls and shaker style doors. Another major goal was to incorporate the look and feel of the client's brand, keeping the fit out in line with their other offices around Australia and inject the mortgage choice branding guidelines through colour. The design is done, the plans are in, it's now time for Dan, James and Mel to strap their boots on and dive right in. means putting up a temporary hoarding to keep us away from the pedestrian traffic. As you can see our hoarding's in, ready to go. It's going to be a completely new look for this fit out, even though it's not that old. 
you still need a, a refresh in order to suit REA. We're going to try and retain some of these items to, uh, to keep this boardroom intact because it's in quite good shape. This is going to be the new REA breakout space. It's going to be an amazing breakout for this company. So once again, great views, great northern aspects, heaps of natural light. So even though this stuff's not too bad, it's all got to go. So let's get on with the strip out. This place is going to look completely different by the end of next week. We'll be ready to start putting it back together. I'm excited. Just got to ignore the camera. You got faster radio, yeah, you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> Something good. I'm excited to see some stuff happening here actually. It's not the early days yet, but uh, once these guys do what they do, we can, like James said, start making something really nice out of this space. That's the fun stuff, really. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that bit as well. tiled area that was once tiled here in the kitchen has now been chipped up and they've also done the first cut of the concrete as you can start seeing the results of what the finished floor is going to look like. They'll come back in tomorrow night and do a second cut. We'll do the, the seal and the protection and that'll be your finished product. We're now heading into week three and as you can see the demolition is done. The walls have been polished, they've been protected and now the frames are coming in to start building up all the walls. We've got electricians on site, cables running everywhere, but we're doing our best to hide it all up into the uh, exposed areas. I've got to do a bit more than that. Blah! We're starting to get all the provisions in ready for our sheeters. We should have mechanical guys on site today, which is going to be a great little push, giving us plenty of good air for the, uh, the fit out. look through here at the end you got our quiet conversation rooms being assembled they're dropping cables they're dropping the internet as we walk down this way you'll see some more electricians running more data cables for the workstations computer data the soft wiring for the workstations <laughs> it's all about safety here we have a lot more aluminium frames and door frames that are installed so once the sheets go on we can start swinging doors and we can start installing the glazing probably wondering what the plywood is in the walls so that's backing for the for the tv units we like to have backing behind our tvs so we don't risk tvs falling off the walls so here in the kitchen breakout area you're going to see where we've exposed the ceiling you can see where we have plasters and framers up sheeting the walls and the bulkheads to close off the gap above the exterior and here we have our hot desk room we still got a little bit of framing to go up in place but we have to get some mechanical movement around first to give us room to get to the to get to the framing up to the ceiling. When was this glass coming? That's so this glass is on the next order which I think is coming next Wednesday. Beautiful. Yeah, they, they initially were going to try and reuse what they removed. It's too tall. 
Yeah. So they got the rough skeleton up here for the hard for the plaster board or the hard ceiling. Yeah. So we we changed all this because there was too many surfaces up here. Uh, it was originally specified as a raw exposed concrete. It wasn't going to work. It wasn't neat enough. It wasn't tidy enough for us. So we were going to sheet it and make it look a bit neater and tidier. Keeps it clean and tidy. Keeps the job running smooth. I make sure the jobs go smooth. That's your job, mate. <laughs> this uh, ceiling's starting to come up a little bit better too. We got rid of a lot of those redundant services. Partitioners will come in and frame that bulkhead down at the end, make that pack unit go away. And I think that's about kind of where we're sitting at. I know you know what you're doing, Dan. Uh, Dan, sorry, James. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I've been hanging out with Dan too much. <laughs> <laughs> Dan on the brain. any office fit out job, your main client is the tenant, the group that's physically going to be occupying the space. But you also need to keep the landlord of the building happy. Now it's time for the owners of the building, Dencap, to come through and check up on the progress. Just timing as well as the other thing, you guys still looking for early August? Well, we, we were looking for early August, but we're going to make sure that we achieve an all-in by end of August, so they move from downstairs up. No pressure. I believe there's some more uh, leasing agreements happening downstairs, so we have to make sure we hit that target. Yeah, it would be helpful to have to have, you know, have PC and these guys in by end of August, definitely. I would say by 30 August, they're all in ready to go operating yep. as of the following weeks. So. Okay. I mean, as long as this guy's happy, he's, he's, he's in the building every day. Yeah. I'm in Sydney, as you know, so of course. Um, if, if he's upset, then I guess I am, but sure. he's smiling, so we yeah. all are. Yeah, definitely. Good news, the owners seem happy with the progress that the Tactics Spaces team has been making so far. Yeah, yeah, very professional. Very happy to work with you guys. Yeah, definitely. Hence right. why you're getting more business, hopefully. Nice, that's it. Yes. Exactly right. All right. You good? Thank you so much for your time this morning. Easy. Back to the office we go. Again. Thank you. Hard working, boys. Yeah, just identifying that we have to be out by 30th of August. It's pretty key. I think we'll make it. I actually think that we'll be ahead of the game on construction. It's probably just our delivery of furniture. Maybe our workstations might be a little bit delayed, but um, most of our lead time items are pretty good, so I don't see it being a huge drama. So. The deadline's been set. The clock is ticking. Project manager Dan is quietly confident, but he's got his work cut out for him to deliver this project on time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's to how I designed it, so it's really good, yeah. There's a couple of things that I wasn't sure on. I think once everything comes together, it'll be good. All the car protection is coming up. We're getting workstations coming in. Most of the paint is all finished. A couple of doors still need to be swung. A couple of pieces yeah, of joinery are still missing. Most of the finishes are going on. We've got door hardware being installed. It's going real good. It's going smooth ass. REA coming through today with their whole team. We're almost finished, so fingers crossed they like it. It's a really good walkthrough. Yeah, everyone seems to be pretty receptive. I think it's presenting really well. Good review so far, so I'm happy that they're happy. I'm happy, he's happy. <laughs> So we're pretty close to the end now, and all we're waiting on is these bricks, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna make it. Hey, James, where's the bricks? Where's the brick? They're all in my head, man. I didn't get them out yet. It's definitely getting down to the wire, but I think we'll get there. Tactic always makes it. Can we get some wine, please? <laughs> to go with that cheese? <laughs> <laughs>
Tschüss. <lacht>
you like what you saw on this episode, we'd love to do the same for you. We'll find your office, negotiate your lease, design and build your new workplace. My details are below, so please get in touch and we look forward to seeing you soon.